we go back again with another match preview and why I'm boycotting social media. Yes, so this weekend, Sunderland travelled to Home Park to take on Plymouth Argyle. Plymouth Argyle were founded in 1886 and are 135 years young, only seven years younger than Sunderland. Now, I did mention I'm going to be boycotting social media. I will speak about that a little bit later on, but first of all, it's all about Sunderland. Sunderland have two games to cement their place in the League One playoffs. Can we do it? Of course we can do it. We're four points clear and all we need now is a two points to cement it because our goal difference is far superior to anybody else below us. Portsmouth have Chapman the game in hand. Portsmouth have four points behind us. So, we just need two points, two draws or one victory. Now, a victory against Plymouth down Home Park will be absolutely fantastic. Yes, fantastic. Plymouth have done a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant season this season. Ryan Law's done a great job and they've, they've played 44 games so far. They've won 14, drawn 11, lost 19, scored 52. Have they scored 52? I don't really know if they've scored. Yes, they've done in 76, minus 24 goal difference. Some have a plus 26 goal difference. Or is it 24? I can't remember. So, because they've had a brilliant season still, Sunderland should be able to go there. Even in the run of form we're in, Plymouth aren't in that much better with run of form. Plymouth last five games. Lost to Shrewsbury 3-0. Lost the Hull 3-0. Drew to Burton, one's a peach. Scott smashed off Charlton 6 0 and lost to Oxford 3 1. So Plymouth are in an awful run of form. And like I said, we're not in much better. But one of the reasons why we're not playing that well is because the formation's not right. And not just that, the midfield is the main reason for me. The midfield. This is my thoughts on the team that I would put out on Saturday. Clearly Burge is in goal for this moment in time. And we have Denver Hume on the left. Right hand side. Now I've heard Conor McLaughlin is close to being fit. Do you bring him in straight away? Or will he need a game or so? If not, then yes. Let's put Gooch at right back. Why not do something a little bit different? He did okay the other night when he was there. We want power in the midfield. We need to bolster up the midfield, remember. Because if we have max power or lead better... As the holding midfielder who can protect right and all nine, because at the moment there's no central midfielders and we know he won't play younger. Then we have two of the midfielders in Winchester, Power or Scowen to come forward. We know Power likes a shot on target, a shot on goal, should we say. But if we have Ledbetter or Power there, see if it's Ledbetter in the central midfield. Ledbetter, holding midfielder, then we can have Winchester and Power. If Power is there, the holding midfielder, we can have Winchester and Scone. And also Ledbetter can come on later on if needed. But three young lads like that, central midfielders, should be able to play 90 minutes. Should be able to manage to dominate a match. If they can do it against Hull, and Hull are top of the table, and they're promoted to the championship, we did it against Hull. 4-3-3, brilliant midfield. Why can't we do it against Plymouth? No disrespect to Plymouth whatsoever. But you're in 16th place. You're on minus 24 goal difference. You've been smashed four out of five matches. You're not Hull. And I do, and I do wish Plymouth all the best next season in League One because they won't be going down because they've done a great job this season in cementing their place in League One. Well done, Plymouth Argyle. Brilliant Green Army. Fantastic home park. Great stadium. It's been open since 1901. Right. The midfield. That's what you need to do. Now, if we want, if, 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 if Lee Johnson wants to put Ledbetter there or Power there, then yes, I'm happy. So long as there's three central midfielders. Then Scowen get forward through the middle. Winchester get forward through the middle. Scowen can even drop back to what Power's doing and let Power come forward every now and again. It'll confuse the Plymouth a little bit. Help Charlie Wake. Not just... Putting the ball around in defence, backwards and forwards, like a yo-yo, and then just lumping the ball with forward to Charlie White or Aidan O'Brien the other day, and they got no pace, no speed to get to the ball. 
Then we have McGeady, who should be down the wing, not in the centre of midfield, not going back and challenging back here. That is the holding midfielder's job. McGeady gives away too many free kicks by doing that job. Is this? Is an attacker? Is a winger? Is a forward thinking? You know, is is a tactician? Is a is, is a magic little magic man? The movement on his feet's brilliant. Confuses, come baffles. Come baffles, that's not a word, is it? But yes, he come baffles other defences. It come baffles me as well. But he's, you know, he's coming to the end of his career. But for me, he needs to be on the wing, running down the wing as the song goes. Then we need Jordan Jones. What's the point having a guy with absolute bags of speed to burn? And I'm saying he's one of the fastest. You know, he's got bags of speed to burn. Plymouth won't know what to do with this bloke. They'll hack him, bring him down, yellow cards, and whatever else will go on. He needs to be starting. He needs to be starting 100%. We need to go 4-3-3. Three, three. That's what we have to do. It's a midfield battle we've been losing all season. It needs to change now. Two games to go. You know, it's, it's, it's not uh, the end of the world, Lee, if you decide to change your system and put three in the midfield. You did it against Hull. Why? Do it now, two games to go, playoffs. We can get promoted under the right system, under the right leadership with the right midfield. Don't leave the midfield weak. You're making scouting and whoever else is in midfield look terrible, look poor. And you know, it's not fair on these blokes. They need to have three midfield to complement each other, to get the victory, to get us the three points, get us in the, 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 you know, into the playoffs. And give us a chance to be promoted this season. Simple as. Now boycotting social media. Right. TNSFC took the words right out of my mouth on his video. He put it up there so I'm not going to say much about it. I'm going to put TNSFC's video down below in the description. And let you watch it for yourself. Now he's a good lad, young lad. He's top of the pops. Get over there, watch his video, subscribe to his channel. Please subscribe to his channel. If you like my content, go over there. Do me a favour, go over there, subscribe to Tane, like his content and give the lad a chance. You know, he enjoys doing YouTube. He's a, he's a clever lad. So, you know, I like his content. So I'd much appreciate it if you pop over and watch his video on social media. You know, on on. Boycotting social media. Now I'm gonna do my bit. I am gonna but I didn't see I didn't I didn't realise. I just thought it was footballers that were gonna be boycotting social media. I had no idea that other people were going to as well. So I'm gonna do my bit. I'm gonna boycott Instagram, I'm gonna boycott Facebook, I'm gonna boycott Twitter, because them are the three, you know, horrible platforms that do where the, where the footballers do get abuse and and, and there should be there's no there's, there's no place in the world for bullies full stop at all no place in the world for bullies for racists you know everything it's, it's no world for them and all watch TNFC say I say took the words right out of my mouth so I let him describe you know his feelings and you know I'm back on ten hundred percent so there you go so please go over your channel and subscribe so like I said I will be doing my live stream on Saturday. And because I've had people on asking me to do the live stream, saying that they want to see my live stream, that it helps them get through the weekend. Because you laugh at me. <laughs> and it is entertaining. Hopefully entertaining. Uh, people have it. You know, people entertaining. That stretches the word a bit entertaining, doesn't it? Right, score predictions, score predictions. I'm going to go for that formation, that team, that centre of three. I'm going to go, we can go there and win this game comfortably 2 or 3 nil. So I'm going to say 2 nil. 2 nil to Sunderland, we're in the playoffs. Bang, that's it, done. 3 o'clock on Saturday. Leave your score predictions down below in the comment section. And I think there was one person who got the correct score. Oh, who got the correct score for the Blackpool match. I think it was a Blackpool fan. And I do apologise, I forgot your name. I will give you a shout out on Saturday on the live stream. So there you go. Please take care. God bless. Me and God go with you. And like I say, I'm supporting the footballers by not going on Instagram, Facebook, and any other social media like Twitter. Simple as, right? Because they're the ones that are just not very nice. I'm even considering completely, completely deleting Instagram and completely deleting Twitter. I just don't have time for all things that's going on. Right, so leave your score prediction down below in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you really want to see my live stream on Saturday. And like I said before, 
TNSFC. Pop down, please. Check out his channel. Subscribe to the lad. Let's get him over a thousand subscribers this weekend. That would be amazing for the lad. So if you're on here and you watch my content week in, week out, daily, whenever it's up, please pop over there and subscribe to his content too. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you on Saturday. Bye. Oh, sugar. I'm sure his name's Thane. Thane SAFC, man. What are you thinking about, Thane? You're such a titty. Terry, you're such a bloody titty.